Greetings, Your Highness, and welcome to our kingdom. We hope that you'll be comfortable with your stay in the Chateau de la Mont. I am Adrian of the High City, here to escort you to your abode. And it's a common practice to present our guests who stay there with a gift. I'm sure you know of our expertise in crafting jewelry. This necklace here is of the purest silver. The gems you see there are sapphires, as well as teal topaz and amethyst. I do personally love how well the violet and blue complement each other so perfectly. Or perhaps if you love pearls, then this one will be more to your liking. I even had a pair of pearl earrings made to match. The other pieces you see here are of purest gold, silver, and platinum, and all outfitted with precious rubies, jade, and azrai and azur. See, we just couldn't decide whether to present you with a necklace, earrings, brooches, or even a decorative armband, given someone of your quality. So I felt it best to present you with a selection of each. Oh, no need to choose, Your Grace. They're all yours. I'll have them sent to your chambers. And since you're going to be staying here, would you care for me to show you around the castle grounds? Splendid. Take hold of my arm. You'll have to forgive my gaze. I had no idea your grace would be so... breathtaking. At first I thought it might be the gardenias or sweet peas leading me on. But certainly, not even their mind-tingling aroma could overshadow your countenance. <laughs> Too kind, please, your highness. I am a man of no exaggeration. I only speak the truth. You know, as I mentioned, these flowers are a special variety. The gardenias have a rather enchanting scent about them. Makes one feel enamored. The sweet peas do the same, more or less. Ah. Here, your grace. You must take a whiff. I insist. The smell is... Ah. Intoxicating. The gardeners planted a variety of them, too. No two parts of the castle ground share the same sensation. We can't let you grow tired of your stay here. Oh, especially not here. What? No, this is not a bathhouse. This part of the estate is for the height of relaxation. Only the greatest of nobility and the grandest of royals could ever dream of such an escape. And it's yours for whenever you see fit. Anciently, they called it a uh, therme. You may call it comfort, rest, or troubles be gone, heaven on earth, love of living, and love of life. There are water springs to soak in your worries for you, sweet and savory delicacies brought by our helpful gentlemen, comfortable clothing, tailor made to your fitting upon request. And you may wish to pay our priority masseuse a visit. They say he has a magic touch. I'm certain he'd be overjoyed to work for Her Majesty and put his arms to good use. And here, Your Highness, is our dining hall. Pardon, your dining area. That is, should you not prefer being served in your chamber? Personally, I enjoy the ambience. Artisans put everything into what you see. And even so, in what you might not see. Look up. <laughs> don't be bashful. The extremities are still covered. We don't shy at the male anatomy, it seems. But amazing how an artist can put such detail into every lock of hair. And every stretch of muscle. You'd think they were real. The wings do give it away. The hardest part was painting the eyes. Eyes are so expressive, so full of emotion, it's hard capturing that radiance. What? Yes, I painted this ceiling. <laughs> Your Grace, you will be in no short supply of surprises here. It's part of the adventure. I believe if you want to feel happy, then make where you live happy. When I paint a smile, I want the eyes to light up with the smile. 
it makes the expression more delightful. Or contagious. Have you ever seen someone smile so brightly it even made you blush? Well, I'll just have to keep trying then. <laughs> oh! There's a special view out on the terrace. Here, this way, through the ballroom. You come at a good time of the year. In the early summer, we throw festivities in the ballroom nearly every week in here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe there's a bachelor's ball soon to come. Why, it's exactly what the name implies. A ball where bachelor princes come to remedy their bachelor status. Ladies far and wide come too. You might enjoy gracing us with your presence too. Unless you chafe at the idea of heart-throbbing suitors vying for your attention by the score. There. And the sun is just beginning to set. This balcony gives the greatest view over the valley, over the streams, the rolling hills and vineyards, the snug little cottages spread throughout the city, far off in the distance. And now, as the sun sets, these hills clothe themselves in gold. So peaceful. Could never tire of witnessing such beauty. Not just the sunset. I reckon many a man has brought his love to this very place before proposing himself to her. Anyway, the hour is waning, and I have yet to show you to your quarters. Brody, Geralt, her highness is weary, and she has many stairs to climb. Don't let her weary herself any further. These two burly gentlemen will act as your throne bearer. This way, your highness. Thank you, gentlemen. I can show her from here. There we are. This is your chamber. This key is to your room. Only your bodyguard and your servant have the duplicates. Yes, you must have a servant boy if you're to stay here. Who's to run your errands? Keep your chamber comfortable. Here you are. And there's a nightgown made for you as well, by your bedside. Softest fabric I've ever felt. Your servant can draw hot water for you if you'd like. And, Your Grace, before I leave, I'm not ignorant to the rumors about this castle. You may have heard them. Rumors of charming staff men, of ladies and even princesses running around with them. And, well, you might be wondering if they're true. I can't say if they are true or not. Well, I suppose that will have to be a surprise. After all, it's part of the adventure. <laughs> Enjoy your stay, Your Grace, and good night. <laughs>